Welcome to our video on Kirchhoff's Current Law. Today, we will explore this fundamental principle of electrical circuits and demonstrate it using a circuit simulator. Kirchhoff's Current Law, also known as KCL, is an essential concept in circuit analysis. It states that the algebraic sum of currents entering and exiting a node in an electrical circuit is always zero. In simpler terms, the total current flowing into a node is equal to the total current flowing out of that node. This principle is based on the principle of conservation of charge, which ensures that charge is neither created nor destroyed within a circuit. To better understand Kirchhoff's current law, let's examine a specific circuit setup using our circuit simulator. In this circuit, we have a 10 ampere current source connected to a resistor, R1, which has a value of 1 kilohm. This resistor is connected in series with two parallel variable resistors, R2 and R3. The values of R2 and R3 can be adjusted in the simulator and range from 100 to 1000 ohms. We will denote the currents through R1, R2, and R3 as I1, I2, and I3, respectively. Now, let's consider the node where R1, R2, and R3 are connected. According to Kirchhoff's current law, the sum of currents entering and exiting any node must be zero. In this case, the current I1 from the 10 ampere source splits into two currents, I2 and I3, flowing through R2 and R3, respectively. To demonstrate this, we can gradually vary the resistance values of R2 and R3 using the circuit simulator. As we change the resistances, we observe that the sum of currents I2 and I3 always remains equal to I1. This validates Kirchhoff's current law, as the total current entering the node remains equal to the total current exiting the node. By applying Kirchhoff's current law, we can determine the distribution of currents within a circuit, which is crucial for analyzing and solving complex electrical circuits. It allows us to understand how current flows through different elements and branches of a circuit, providing insights into its behavior. In summary, Kirchhoff's current law states that the total current entering a node in a circuit is equal to the total current exiting the node. In our circuit simulator, we've demonstrated this principle by observing the relationship between currents I1, I2, and I3. As we change the resistance values, the sum of currents I2 and I3 always equals the current I1. I hope this detailed explanation helps you grasp the concept of Kirchhoff's current law better. Feel free to explore and experiment with the circuit simulator to deepen your understanding. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more exciting videos on electrical principles.